Hey everybody, we're back in the Balatro Mines and having a good time. Let's run, let's just run a simple blue deck today. By the way, the lighting, it's so sunny today. Spring has sprung. The, the world's dumbest person on February the 6th, 2024. Spring is finally here, everybody. It is, it is. I would run, we gotta run this blind, okay? Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what they think about you. On mission number one, encounter number one, you just try to get a hand that wins in one, ideally. This might win in two. Could have fished for this straight flush, but by winning in one or two, you get the maximum amount of money, which allows you to, this is my mental model, it might be wrong, okay? It allows you to purchase a joker that can let you coast for a while and build up your economy. That's my hope, at least. That's my hope. Like, plus four molt. This is like the worst joker in existence. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, I'm gonna chance it. We may lose as a result of this, but I'm gonna chance it anyway. We're gonna try to get to 600, at which point we will be able to afford a the hollow joker that should appear in the shop. Three, four, five, six, eight. Oh, we're, I, I, minus one hand size is like a deceptive killer. Well, you know what? We didn't get the flush, but a straight is basically like as good as a flush, I think, in terms of points. Flush is slightly better, but if it saves us a discard, I would say money well spent. We basically have to do that well on every subsequent hand, though. Um, which means, well, not on every hand. To me, I think what you can do is throw a pair as if it's a discard and try to create a spade flush. We still have seven spades left. We need to draw three. I mean, that's it's not easy. It's not, we might be dead. <laughs> and I would, I would deserve it. We do still have one discard to, wait, 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 we're so alive and I am loving every minute of it, Jerry. We get a hollow joker from the shop. Maybe it'll even be like a, a, a goaded hollow joker. And then we're off to the races, hopefully. Plus we got this, wait, oh no, we're just playing basic deck. That's right. Thank God we got one extra hand because we're playing blue deck. Eleven dollars plus one hundred and twenty chips if your hand contains a straight. I feel like we have an obligation. Play only one hand. No, we kind of want that. Um, I feel like we have an obligation in that case to try to get straights, which is dangerous for me because that's not typically the the direction that I go in this game. But on the other hand, ten jack queen king ace. <laughs> Plus 120 chips, plus 10 molt. So that's like 1,200 score just from the Joker itself. Anything that we could get to create uh, straights more easily would go huge. Adds the sell value of all these Jokers to the left shirt. There's, there's value there, obviously. Well, I'll tell you one thing for free. Having one extra card in hand is going to make a straight a lot easier to get. Now, I could skip for a negative Joker, but I think we want to play this one out for now. So this is where my numbers get fried. Are we better to fish for a jack or like a, a, a six and an eight or an ace and a four? You know what I mean? The good news is we just need a jack. You just need a jack. So you can discard all of these. It, it, these are very risky plays. It has to be this, right? A three, four, five, six... I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then like a drawing a ten and a queen would be crazy, but one hand might be enough to just win instantly. So we, we went through a lot of discards, but we, we did it in one hand, so we still made a good amount of money. And we didn't lose, which is valuable in and of itself. Fifty chips if you have a pair. I'm I'm saving money for now just because I'm 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 leaning on this Joker. Now this is the scary one. I believe we can only play one hand type. I'm going to discard all of these. We're fishing for a queen. We got one. 10 jack, queen, king, ace. These are high value cards. It may win in one. It did. 
That's really good. But obviously, like, the scores are going to get harder to maintain. We need something to enable us to make our best hand more easily or, like, supplementary jokers to help us out. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. I, we may not even need this if our hands keep giving us insane value. A gold card is basically, it should pay for itself. I'm not going to be necessarily discarding jacks. At least I can't promise you that. Although adding molt and then getting extra off of it is nice. I'm, I'm going to, I hate to do it. <laughs> I'm pushing it for one more round, okay? So we want to get a straight, which will mean discarding your copies. We could fish for a flush as well, but a straight is just so good. So discard your copies. We can get 10 jack, queen, king, ace, which means we don't need these. Even though 7, 8, 9 was close as well. 10 jack, queen, uh, queen, king, ace. And then make this jack of spades a gold card. So now the card paid for itself. If we ever get it to pay out again, then it's just gravy. See, I don't always run flush builds. Sometimes I run builds that are functionally almost exactly the same as a flush build. Uh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I didn't win in one, huh? I've noticed that as well. I do have six, seven, eight, nine, though. I'm willing to do this. I want to keep the jack in hand. Phrasing. Oh, now we're losing money, bro. Now we're losing money. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or like a five would also work. I get that we're we're getting rid of cards that could actually do something, and and now we're losing money in the process as well. But I I feel like two pair is just like not good enough. I guess we we're gonna throw something. We might as well throw this just to see. That totally worked, because it adds 10 to Molt, obviously. What are you talking about, NL? What are you talking about? Still got nine bucks. Okay, this, this is exactly what we needed. Straights can be made with four cards. Now, I think we can invest our money into leveling up, hopefully, straight, which is oh, not available here. Okay, leveling. I'm going to go for straight flush. You never know if we're going to get some tarot cards that could uh, manipulate our suits. Hermit doubles our money. It's an easy one to say yes to. $13 for $6 is a pretty sick bargain. Looks like money money's on sale today. I'm going to skip for a free mega standard pack. What do we want to see? I think just valuable cards. I mean, this is definitely like a different strategy than I'm used to running. Discards two random cards per hand. Ace two three is good. Greed is good. We also almost have a flip. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Ace two three. Ah, oh, doesn't quite get us. Even with this, we can't. But we do we have a flush? We have a flush, an instant flush, people. We have an instant flush. And then discard stuff that is unlikely to make us straight. I get that we we have no choice, okay? It's either that or discard like a reasonably good hand. Now, honestly, I discard these. Because an ace or a five will get you there. And you might as well keep those, those royal cards for now. Two. It's so close. I mean, we have a flush, but a, a straight is definitely going to be worth more with this devious joker. Hey, chat. I'm not an officer of the law. What do you say is the... What would you guess is the most devious lick you've ever hit? Into the microphone, please. Just checking. We have many flushes. I know we don't need five. If we don't need five, then hold the seven. You can throw it too, honestly. Well, my seven. <laughs> it's gone. Wait a minute, we only have two more hands. We gotta make sure we hit this. You're a good card. I mean, we have six, seven, eight. I feel like if you just dump everything that's not six, seven, eight, eight, like you're guaranteed. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and we get the steel card as well. All right. Oh, well, maybe we don't get the steel card because the boss had his other designs. All right. What are we going to do? Let's focus on the, the, the negatives of the run are obvious. We only have like basically one joker that affects our score, which is very important for getting good scaling. That's an awfully hot flower pot. But the nice thing I would say of what we've got going on in this deck is we have a lot of space for, for modern jokers. Like maybe we can run this. And I will run this as well. Maybe thin the deck out a little bit. And we have lots of money. We, we seem to be generating an awful lot of money. So, we, can, you, can you please just buff us straight? Like, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Let's buff high card, because sometimes I use high card instead of a discard, which maybe I shouldn't. And I'll buff full house, just because it was my favorite show that starred Dave Coulier. And there's a lot of competition there. And you know what? $4 for a choice of a joker. You never know. I'm, I'm not anti-credit card. I've been running it a little bit off camera, but Sharp has an uncommon joker. I think we always want to like fight for it. That's right. I had a little bit of time off camera. I was playing some Balotro the other day. Can you believe it? So I feel like, like if you're destroying cards, a king is like the least valuable card for making a straight because it can only make it in one direction, right? Maybe we don't want to destroy two cards. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, if your hand has a scoring card of every suit, you get times three. So you know what? We can make a dynamite hand if we just get the five of diamonds. Saul's five of diamonds, that's fine. Give me a decent full house um, that also has a steel card in hand. Uh, that's like barely good enough. One day I'll learn. This kind of ruins our straight potential and our straight flush potential. So you know what? We, we discard in the hopes of getting a beautiful straight flush here. We got it. And just hold that, that steel jack in hand. <laughs> hold that steel jack in hand. Yeah, okay, okay. No, I was. I apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. We still need a lot more. If poker hand is a straight flush, create a spectral card. We have to try. Even though it works against the flower pot, I think we have to try. Pair standard pack. I mean, I guess we should be adding playing cards if we're going to stick with the hologram, but. I feel like, you know, Jack is, is a good card to add. It, it, it's worth 10 chips. We don't need to create two common jokers. We already have three, four, five, six. But it's so close to a straight flush, bro. Why, why not just fish for it? Maybe keep the three just in case. We got six, eight, nine, like we're so close to straight flush. And it, this could create like endless spectral cards for me. Can we do like six, seven, eight, nine and still keep uh, straight flush potential to get a spectral card? Like that wasn't too good, which is great. We only have one discard remaining. I know it's crazy, but I gotta, I gotta fish for it, bro. Okay, we'll do four, five, six, seven. I'm a little upset. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little upset by the way that this went down. Oh, if we had put, no, no, we needed a club as well. I mean, I'm completely ignoring the flower pot. I've accidentally created a run that's like much too complicated for me. <laughs> How about a full house that actually does have scoring cards of every suit so the flower pot will be in play? I'm telling you, we're going to get straight flushes. It's, it's going to work. I should never have purchased the Hanged Man. I've made a mistake. I, I don't think, I don't feel comfortable using it. Let's add a card to our hand. Really would prefer a wild. Oh, you're a wild card. And you earn three bucks when played in score. That seems great. And then buy and use this for flush. Although we, now that I think about it, we, we're... 
leveling up straights more than we're leveling up flushes. How about a celestial pack that levels up my straights or my straight flushes? It doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist, bro. It doesn't exist. So we level up high cards. So basically, I'm creating like a, a scoring discard. What do you got going on? Lose $1 per card played. See if I care. See if I care, bro. <clears throat> okay, well, there's very limited straight flush potential. So do me a favor and just play 7, 8, 9, 10, which will activate your... No, only with this will it activate your flower pot, which might be enough to get you... I don't know, to like 10,000 or to 23,000 and win in one turn so we don't lose so much money. I, I think it's the first time I've made it out of this boss fight without losing, like getting to the point where I'm at like negative 20. Okay, I'm, I'm selling it. I don't think we're going to use it. We can't afford the spectral pack. High card arcana. I mean, I think we just got to keep it going. Gives a mega standard pack. This is huge because this is going to make our hologram even better. Let me look at my deck for a second. It was still very well balanced. Like clubs are slightly better than anything else. And honestly, wouldn't you know it? Like I'd say both of our clubs here are, are very takeable. Shop has a negative joker. We pretty much have to compete. I mean, we're almost done with the run already, which is crazy. We definitely want you to be involved. So dump, dump. 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Dump. This is a tough one. Because we can dump duplicates. We should keep hearts. Because there's a Jack and a 10 of hearts, which will make it easier for us to create a straight flush, if that's what we're going for. But I think you got to just not be stupid as well. <laughs> This doesn't have a scoring diamond, unfortunately, which would make Flower Pot better. Just cut me some slack, okay? There's a lot to focus on on this one. This one's tough. I need to create a straight flush if I can, though, because that would then give me... We don't need the steel card, but a straight flush maybe of spades. There is an ace of spades. There is a four of spades. There is a five of spades. If we, could be, if we could create a straight flush, we get a spectral card, which could give us benefits in perpetuity. You dump this, you dump that. You still keep your straight potential. <coughs> Pardon me. That's four cards. You should dump your heart as well. Because, like, you don't, you don't know the value that a a straight flush could have for us, right? Like the spectral card could completely change our run. We're taking a risk the way we're doing this. Like we literally have ace, two, three, five. We can always just play like a flush and finish. Oh, we won anyway. Oh, <laughs> please, please. Like the run's almost over, man. Cut me some slack here. I will buy both. I, first, I will buy a standard pack. I will just take a lucky card. Um, it's just that lucky cards tend to be good. You know, they, they tend to give you a benefit. I guess technically they tend not to give you a benefit, but... Wild card does go crazy. And like, what about a wild card that's just like right in the middle of the possible straight zone? And then Temperance is $21, which is no joke. I guess one extra hand per round would be nice. But we're just like, we're so close to the end of the, the fight here that it's like, it's spicy, you know? Okay, this, we have to fish for, it's, it's ticking me off, okay? Because <laughs> it looks like you should keep the spades. Because we're one away from a royal flush, which is technically just a straight flush in the game. But actually, a queen of hearts or an eight of hearts, both of... Oh, no, there's no eight of hearts. And there's no queen of hearts left. Did I, did I discard those legitimately? Okay, in that case, we're looking for the queen of spades. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. We're dumping the hearts then. And probably the wild. 
on this boss fight, I think this is the kind of fight where we really want to win in one go. Um, that's not going to happen. So I will become the Joker. The, the problem is every subsequent turn, we're going to be drawing cards face down, which is a nightmare for us because we're trying to make like straights. So like, I think there's a reasonable chance that this will be a straight. <laughs> I think we just lost and it was because I was fishing for a straight flush. Like, rank, sort me, and then play the five cards in the middle. I think we gotta cancel Christmas on this one. Rank, sort me, and then play... Look at how many uh, cards we have up here that are higher than a jack. Wow! <laughs> Please? It wasn't one of every suit. One of every suit might have gotten us there. Now play five in the middle. There's got to be a straight in here, bro. It's it's useless. <laughs> I should have saved my discards, bro. I should have saved my discards. All right, this was just like a tactical misstep. I did it to myself. That was pretty bad. Let's run it back. That was like that was really fast. Let's run it back. Am I a little embarrassed? No, not really. We're just I mean, we're playing a video game. We're enjoying ourselves. If we draw a 10, we get max dollars. All we got to do is draw a 10. We will receive max dollars. Pretty bad. But I, I mean, I was fishing, you know? We, we, we're, we were on a fishing expedition, as they say on legal shows. That's when you don't know what you're looking for, but you hope to find something. I guess it was the opposite. I was on a hunting expedition. I knew what I was hoping to find, but I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get there. Okay. Worst case scenario, we have a flush draw. <clears throat> we have a straight end of flush draw. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Now, at any given point, I'm, this is intellectual honesty, okay? At any given point, I could just play for a flush build and probably have a good chance to win. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more interesting, but it does depend what jokers show up as well. What if we went like like a, a freaky little pair build, at least early on? Skip to get a double tag. I do like a double tag. I'll give it a chance. And then you just throw... Throw clubs and then like low value cards. Now, 50 chips is maybe not like that valuable, but it's a good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. Um, I guess it'll be more valuable in like a two pair or a three of a kind situation. Because a three of a kind does contain a pair, the molt will be higher, and then the 50 coins will get multiplied by more. That makes sense. It does make sense. Like queen, queen, 10, 10. And if we got like early pants, we could really run like a two pair build or something like that. But I mean, right now it's an uninspiring start, but I don't think we got anything really to be scared of just yet. Lovers creates a wild card after three rounds sell to duplicate a random joker. I think it's just the wrong time to spend our entire net worth on that as much as I would love to. One dollar per hand played this round. So we'd actually get, we'd get like 20 bucks. I'm gonna, this is against my instinct, so I'm going to do it. And then we could skip for the polychrome joker chance, but I think we, we have to have the opportunity now to spend our money. It's, you could not create a, a worse draw than this versus like, it, it's two straights that are one away. And a bunch of, one flush that's three away. I think I'm, I'm gonna, when in doubt, flush it out, okay? Turn the king into a wild card. Run tens. That doesn't work. <laughs> I wanted to get the chip bonus, but yeah, that would only work if you had the, the four fingers. 
That's only 288 points, bro. Two pair, though. Two pair dumping like a king, so maybe we got flush potential afterwards. That's only 188 points, bro. Have we lost again? Nothing certain yet. Fish for a straight. We have three hands to go. Is there a seven coming? There's one seven. Is there, There's three queens, bro. Come on. There's three queens. There's three queens. But like, I can't play any of this stuff or I'll lose the opportunity to get the... <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I guess you want to discard this, this, and this, and this. But then I don't have any discards left. What have you done? I don't have any jokers, bro. Wait, this, this is my chance here. It's going to be like 50 points worth of uh, chips times five. Oh my God, we got to get the greatest hand of all. It doesn't exist. New run me. Okay, I'd like to apologize for that. We got a little big for our britches on that one. New strat, uh, actually buy some jokers. I know, it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a rare one for me. Let's fish for an early full house. Let's fish for an early full house. I seem to be drawing, in my personnel opinion, I appear to be drawing the same cards every single time. <laughs> did, I, did I draw an ace on three consecutive draws? Okay, this is the definition of playing on tilt. Run to, just survive the first encounter. You don't have to play the best hands of all time on your first, there we go, freaking full house. We're okay. We just spent more money by playing hands than I would have liked to. But I think you are smart to yeet your discards early, fishing for a hand that'll make you more money. Okay, so call me a hater. Plus four molt is simply not worth the $3. I would rather save and then buy something after this encounter. In this situation, I mean, like, you, you started with three of a kind. We use three of a kind. Never mind. But we did use two of the threes of three of a kind that we had. You can't deny that. That, that much is true. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Now, don't make the same mistake. I know you're like, none of these jokers are good. Rerolling's too expensive. You have to buy something that helps. You don't need to structure your entire run around that thing right away, which is my common mistake, I think, but you gotta buy something that helps. So I think you definitely buy uh, something that makes spades better. And now, be careful who you make fun of in middle school, because all of a sudden, I'm adding two more spades to the deck. They're both queens of spades. They both have bonuses. Plus one molt per hand played, minus one molt per discard. I'm, I'm buying it. I'm spending all my money. Clubs are debuffed, see if I care. And uh, I'm sorry to tell you that I will not be discarding. I will be building a molt. I guess you could always discard on like your first, the first time you have it, but... All right, I'm a little cheesed. Spades are worth more? Well, in that case, give me some of this. I'm just thinking like the, the hearts are gonna be so easy to, to flush, bro. I mean, we almost even got a straight flush out of it. So I want to buy tarot cards and turn my entire deck into spades so that the Wrathful Joker cannot be stopped. Does this make sense to you? Pair of aces, bro. And then keep straight potential alive. Remember how I said buy the Joker, but don't structure your whole run around it? I feel like I'm kind of making that mistake with Green Joker right now. Captain Planet was kind of the Green Joker when you think about it. I mean, he was blue, but he wanted everybody to go green. Popcorn means we can do whatever we want for a while, which is great. So let's, let's fight it out. This, in my personnel opinion, this should get us to 800 points. Just because popcorn is, is so good. We'll have to sell it later. Ice cream so good. Bzz, I just got stung by lightning. Spare trousers. You know, 
just going to go ahead and say it. Maybe we could start building two pair here. Popcorn kind of gives us the space to try something like that. And after defeating the boss, gain 15 bucks. We'll, we'll give it a chance. Two pair builds malt. It builds malt in a big way. <laughs> oh, yes, it, yes, it does. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, delightful. Well, can we burn a discard and then draw a face up? Yes, yes we can. And if I discard you, you create a tarot card. So if you'll excuse, I know this is bad for Green Joker. I am going to discard you. We do still have two pair, but I, I, I figured a tarot card, like we would be stupid not to at least take you up on it because we're trying to we shouldn't have put it on a spade. We should have put it on a diamond. But it's, it's a relatively minor mistake, but still. Okay. If you can get these spare trousers popping and then maybe get like a polychrome uh, joker to multiply the molt that this is going to generate, we can go to the moon. And financially, we actually have some assets for once. Well, we could just give everything plus four molt when it's played, I suppose. <laughs> How about some tarot cards? Hearts. Joker. Glass card. Gold card. I'll create a random joker. Oh, every card added to your deck buffs you. And multiplies, which is important. I would love to get a holographic joker in my next shop. We need a joker that that kind of blows the doors off this thing. And no matter what, we need uh, two pair. If we want to win long term, we, it might lose in the short term. <laughs> but if we want to win in the long term, I think the number one thing that we wanted, you piece of junk. <laughs> the number one thing that we want to do is build up these trousers. There we go. Now, don't win. T I, honestly, I'm scared I'm going to win too early, which might not be the way I should approach this, but I'm going to play my steel card so we get a chance to maybe play a second two pair. <clears throat> Can I tell you something? I very much wish that I did not do that. Let's see. We got two kings. One, two. One, six. Two sevens. Two eights. One, nine. Nine is cut, two is cut, six is cut, seven and eight, and king stay. Ace is cut. <laughs> this is looking kind of bad, guys. Ten gets to stay. Seven and eight, that means you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Come on, come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. Two more hands. Beautiful. I wish I could get a, a planet out of our purple seal, but it is what it is. Or a tarot, I should say. We're building the trousers. It got good enough. Be nice to duplicate some cards. It'd be nice to raise the rank on some cards. Plus 10 molts. <laughs> well, it costs us 8. It allows us to go deeply in debt. Um, but it is basically going to be as good as popcorn pretty soon. So, And it's going to stay that way kind of forever. So there's something to be said about it maybe. And then we can at least... We can spend right now. We definitely want to level up two pair. And then maybe roll for a tarot card. Flushes and straights. It's not our, it's not our tempo. Honestly, I don't really think we're we're building a spade deck anymore because we're going for two pair. If instead you could add the sell value of of these three andes to molt, that'll add twelve to molt. But then again, oh, it's only getting multiplied by one, so we can put you here for now. Okay. All right. All right. Because we, we haven't had the opportunity to add more cards to the deck yet. Or at least I haven't. 
So please dump them. It had to be done. Good, two pair. I'm telling you, this will, it'll keep us moving. There's five queens in the deck, bro. Three sevens, two fours. Okay, it's that easy. This, the spare trousers constantly getting upgraded, perhaps eventually being multiplied by something. It's enough to get us where we need to go. I will be discarding. Part of this, I'll admit, not going to worry about it. I was going to say it's fishing for another queen so we could discard this for a free tarot card. Like the tarot cards can be super valuable for us, but it's a matter of like how much risk you want to take on. Especially when we're on zero discards. So everything's going okay, but life comes at you fast. Add $1 of sell value to every joker and consumable at the end of round. So, I'm sorry, Hologram. You haven't done anything for us yet. And you may never. You might want to take advantage of, of credit card a little. What if, what if you copied? Oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> what if you copied the effect of this so that every Joker was getting... In incompatible! <laughs> okay, in that case, copy the effect of the trousers. All right. I kind of feel like I got a scam, to be honest, but... This still makes sense. Convert to spades, convert to wild, convert to glass. Um, we don't really want wild. We don't really want all spades anymore. Where were you like seven uh, tarot decks ago? We may never know. I'll make you wild, though. I mean, it's we're not really rooting for flushes, but we got to do something. So you're adding 15 to mult. Give a double tag. Give lots of money. No, no, we need we need to we need to do rounds so that our Joker um, gets our Jokers get more valuable, which is how Swashbuckler scales at all. It's a big two pair right there. Four queens, three sevens, two fives, three twos. Sorry, number five, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Remember when people were saying that? Don't deny it. People were saying it. I was saying you probably weren't alive when it aired, so fair enough. If we could just get something that eventually that multiplies um, the molt from two trousers... We're looking good, man. Let me just say we're looking good. I don't like I don't like what you got in the shop. I have to fight for it. I, I need I need the money, I need the opportunity. Again, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm simply uninterested in discarding the Queen of Spades when we already got a free two pair. A pair in the hand is worth two in the bush. Now just because I got two pairs of pants on doesn't mean I have any use for two bushes, okay? So just relax. Now, I know what you're saying America didn't either, and look where we are. <laughs> me, me making a joke circa 2004 on The Daily Show. Okay. We made a lot of money. Earth makes full house butter. Choose a joker. Raise the interest cap. I mean, I would just say me personally, I'm just not that thrilled with our options. Be nice to add more queens, but I mean, adding adding a jack that could give us a tarot is fine. The wild card would also probably be fine. And sure, I'll roll you. You never know what you might get. One card becomes wild. I actually think it's like irrelevant. So are we going to be able to make this happen versus the manacle? Well, I'll tell you right off the bat, it's very nice. Um to see two pair immediately, which makes the trousers stronger, which makes Brainstorm even stronger, which, you know, I was, we pretty much, you can see it for yourself. We basically have to get like two pair every time. We will discard our five most, or five least valuable cards. Full house increments two pair. We should be buying planets and leveling up two pair as well. Because just leveling up the, the molt that comes off of it would be... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not that valuable. But 
it feels valuable. We have one king, that means you're discarded. Three nines, two eights, two sixes, two threes. Goodbye. One ten, one three, two twos, three fives, three nines. Don't screw me on this one. <laughs> three nines, one six, one two. Guess what, bro? This is my hand. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad in the whole scheme of things. It, it certainly also was not that good. One day we're going to feel confident enough to use the purple seal, but it's not today, okay? This one's going to be close. We really need to... We need to sell our gift card to get a polychrome joker that multiplies an effect. It's too late, I think, for the invisible joker to really pop. Which means I'm buying another standard pack. Let me look at this for a second. Sevens. Everything has fours except jacks and queens. So we might... Retrigger could be pretty good. And then I'll... I'll I'm not gonna roll. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna roll. I think this is gonna be tough. <laughs> I'm losing confidence in myself. Discard these. Holy cow. Um, play two pair. That then will allow you to... Uh, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can create two tarot cards with this beautiful discard here on this, these two purple seals. And imagine if they could create some duplicate cards for us. Oh, we have another pair though. It's okay. It's okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. How many more queens we got? Two left. How many fours? Three fours. Two twos. Three aces. Two queens. Sorry. Had to be done. Had to be done, bro. I bit play! <laughs> oh, no! I could have, if I was gonna do that, I could have just played two pair. I mean, it, it doesn't lose us the run, but it costs us two tarot cards, which could be like $12 worth of value. Why did I hit play? All right, but the, the, the scaling engine still exists. And then we can use credit card at the end, I guess, to go like super into debt. I would love to add more cards. I guess I'll go the advantageous king of spades. The architect and the builder arrive calmly from the escalator with a sense of purpose. How about a, a good ace? And then we go next. I'm not skipping, bro. We don't need two common jokers right now. Play two pair. We have to play, and, and we need more opportunities to increment our trousers. And the opportunities exist. Although I'm realizing that it seems like we're not getting the kind of points that I'm going to need to beat the final boss. Like we're looking reasonably okay for where we're at right now, but okay. Three fours, three twos, three eights, four jacks. Okay, twos, fours, eights. What about nine and ten? Nine and ten have three each. Let's discard. Don't say I didn't warn you. Extremely the vines voice. Hate to say I told you so. Is that the hives? I always get the hives and the vines confused. Which is actually like super fair. Like they came about at the same time. Okay. And the names are similar. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Even though we had what I was looking for, we got the opportunity to get a, uh, a tarot card, which admittedly is actually not really that good for me, but I guess you'd, there's no real reason not to play it. We could create better flush house opportunities. We can save this for actual battle though, instead of yeeting it like prospectively in the shop, if we have the consumable space for it at least. I understand. I understand what you're going to say. I understand what you're going to say. Before you even say it, I understand what you're going to say. Give me a super bonus. Do we have extra sevens in the deck? We do. Okay, give me a super bonus seven. And we go next. Face cards are drawn face down. They could be a match. They could not be a match. But the world may never know.
Just play two pair. Anytime you get a chance to play two pair, I mean, we got 80 extra molt coming in from the trousers. This is not going to be as easy as I want it to be. <laughs> yes! One card becomes wild. Okay, check this out. We have four aces of spades. And then make this Andrew a wild card. Any chance we could get a four of a kind flush? <laughs> I guess we could play two pair. Like we could, we could play, it's not a flush house. We, we should, I, I, although it's not as good of a hand as the four of a kind, it does, um, it does increment our, our two pairs of trousers. So like, I feel like we'd be silly not to give it a try. Three, how many nines? Dump the, keep the six, dump the nine. Beautiful. I do feel like we've gotten a little bit lucky, but also who knows what we discarded, you know? Like we, we played it safe on the discards. We got this. <laughs> Throw this, like, it's, is it just in case me to throw this? Imagine if it was two pair, though. Oh! <laughs> oh! Imagine? Okay, this is our, because we're about to go up against the final boss. This is our round to sell the, the gift card. It has done what it needs to do. Sure, spades could be good. Um, but Gross Michel, I mean, plus 15 molt is not that good. It's good, don't get me wrong, but we need something that multiplies the molt. But are we really going to roll for like a polychrome joker? Like that's, that seems like crazy talk to me. Fours, sixes, and eights. All of which have the same amount. We might as well use the wild card even though we can't really take good advantage of of blue steel molt cards joker two taros i think you go molt oh you have to use it right now that's the unfortunate part okay then in that case we go two taros instead double our money okay now now we got a, a much better optic set for uh rolling to get a better joker as good as, I, you know what I would do? I would buy Gross Michel just to hold it for now. And then we can always sell it if we roll into something better. I'm not optimistic that we will, although that's a very nice get to, to keep us rolling here. Holy cow, plus 30 chips. Actually might be somewhat valuable. Nine molt is not enough. 30 chips is actually pretty valuable considering that our molt is getting really high but maybe our chips are fairly low but i still want you to make this like it's like a 90 something well plus two chips for every dollar you have is interesting too x2 molt if hand contains three of a kind you know what here's what i'm gonna do credit card i appreciate what you've done for me we're going to bank on being able to get threes of a kind. Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh, and like playing three of a kind or a full house will multiply our molt. And we don't get the... We, we get the bonus from spare trousers. We just don't get the increment if we're not playing... Uh, if we're not playing two pair but like we can play two pair just because this one was already highlighted but the three of a kind might be what we need to get us over the top and that you know if that's the case then we should try to fish for the the full house or the three of a kind and we got there give me another discard on this which gives us a tarot card which <laughs> give us a hermit card okay so this should multiply our molt by two which will be crazy we're gonna have like almost a 200 molt i think over a 200 mults. That was a big hand. Uh, ideally, we would be able to get another one of those. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. We have four aces, two tens, five sevens, four sixes. We throw the ten with this. I'm going to play two pair just because the hand is like half decent to begin with. 
it is still 13,000 points. Like, there's nothing to joke about that. And th this will do it. We got there. The, I don't know if it was the three of a kind uh, joker that saved us, but definitely, like, it didn't hurt. And we made a non-flush build work. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I will. I'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya.